shit, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again. Welcome back. Glad you made it to Social Production. We're doing it on Wednesday, May the 29th, end of the month, 2024. Thank you very much for joining me. If it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down, hold, hold tight. Hold on tight to your nuts. Hold on tight to your labias. Uh, grab that clip. Hold on to it because it's going to fly or something. Hold on to everything you got. With Hold on to dear life with both hands. Grip it tight. Welcome back. If you've been with me from the get-go, sending all the love right back to you. If you're just joining us today, again, where can you find these videos? Every Wednesday and Friday for the meantime. Because shit around here changes on a whim. Quickly. Uh, but twice a week nonetheless. Doing it every week. Where can you find it? On Instagram. Follow me there if you like. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Check out patreon.com slash robsadry to fiscally, financially support the show. To make it be... Because this is... Welcome. Well, again, if you've been with me, you know what it is. If you're just joining us, welcome to the great, one of the greatest shows on planet Earth. One of the greatest. It's an extravaganza. It's a. It's the supreme. It's the supreme. It's the, if it was a pizza, it'd be a supreme pizza. Uh, it's again the greatest, probably huge, big, the biggest show on planet Earth, biggest podcast slash show on planet Earth right now. If you're joining us right now, congratulations. You're amongst the eight billion people who will eventually who are constantly talking about the show, watching, subscribing, just watching maybe, but doesn't matter. Because here we're all about size. Because size matters. We're the girthiest of podcasts. You can take that to the girthiest podcast out there. Uh, you know, some say six, some ladies, if you ask some, and some men say six inches is just plenty. That's way too big. Some some people say that. And this is, this is, the, this is what we're dealing with in this podcast. Too big. Six inches of pure raw dogging podcast in and out. Some, some's in my pocket. Let me just. This is from one, one of my many adventures. This is, I guess, it seems to be a wrapper for a straw of sorts, or it could be, or it could be, a, it could easily be a tiny garden snake that has shed its. Yes, it's a garden snake skin. It's beautiful. Take a look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Garden snake skin shedding. And I pick, all right, fine. It's just garbage is what that is. That was in my pocket. I had to, hands in my pockets, notice it was garbage. And we deal with the right end, you know, we don't let it just sit there and like, we deal with, we nip it in the butt, but welcome back. Glad you made it again. Largest show, you know, in terms of me huge, big, extremely big, too big. Sometimes too big. Too big to fail. We're that. We're basically too big to fail. That's what it is. So if you're just joining us today, hello. If you've been with me. You know what? It, let's let's have some fun. It's Wednesday. Let's keep it loose. Of course. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are in and around this world. Mm. Get that coffee in your sister, and your and your sister, not your in your sister. Get it in there. Hmm. I will say this. I'm. Let's just let's just get personal things that I'd like to just cover with you guys, the, the gang members, the fellow syndicate members, the guys and the gals. Personal issues, personal things that are going on in my life that it just. Oh, man, this one. This one's uh happens every once in a while. I have had it, and I have had it up to. Oh, the limits are. It surpassed the limits of toleration. Now I've had enough of flat tires, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is: flat tires, nails, screws, broken pieces of glass, in and around the city, all over the place. This is what I'm suggest. This is what I'm suggesting. I've had enough with screws and nails and broken glass. We get rid of it. Get no more using. I don't want to see any more screws out there. I don't want to see any more nails. I don't want to see any more uh, broken glass. Just I don't know what it is. Find an alternative because, you know, you're, you're driving around, you're having a good day, good, relaxing day, driving around, doing your thing. Next thing you know, flat tire, your beautiful, juicy tire punctured by a screw. Now, who left it there? Where, where was it even left? And why was it left there? I don't want to see any more screws. Enough is enough. No more screws, no more nails, no more broken. If I see another damn screw out there, I will... I will, I will not do anything about it immediately, but I will, I will think about it. I will, oh, I will let it just, hmm, you know what I mean? I'll let it eat at me for a little, but I'll, if I see one out there, I'll, I'll grab it and toss it aside somewhere where cars won't drive over. That's what I will do, because ladies and gents, it is high time. 
enough is enough. Either get rid of nails, screws, broken glass. I don't want to see it anymore. Come up with a new solution to these, you know, whatever, whatever, no more, no more screws, no more, enough. Or make tires that are anti-puncture. Uh, stab the tires with silica. Uh, stab it with, you know, give it, give it whatever, whatever people use in like uh, Brazilian butt lifts, give that to the tires. I don't want to put air in the tires anymore. Air in tires is redundant. It's 2024. Let's go with something solid so that if a nail happens to be for some odd reason, could we just put an end to this right here? This shit stops here. If a tire goes over it, it won't. Pump. Why are we putting air in the tires? There should be, me it's better material out there. I don't know why we're putting air. No, we're putting nothing in the tires. That's essentially what we're, we're, we're that's what we're doing today, right? Putting air, which is nothing, some gas. We're putting gas in the tires. That's the, that's the remedy. That is the, come on, human ingenuity, get on. I don't know what, I don't want this. Like, okay, there's, I'm sure there's creative people who've created already existing tires that are anti-puncture, but it probably comes at like, you know, you got to sell two livers and like a kidney and a pancreas and maybe a, maybe a couple of dozen, you know, just a couple of dozen eggs, male, female, doesn't matter. You got to give up a body part or two just to be like, oh, these anti-puncture tires are going to keep me going uh, like, like the cars in the actual car commercials. That's what car commercials. Always climbing mountains, going downhill. Like, you know, and here we are, just punctured because of a loose nail or screw. That is unacceptable. No more air in the tires. I want some work. Work it out. Whatever tanks are using, let's let's use the tank system instead of wheels. Let's have that. You know, let's have that belt. I don't know what it is. Figure it out, or just don't put any air in it. Can we put tires with like you know put 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 I don't know uh, gelatin. Put uh, put a little bit of cotton in there. Put a little bit of put a little bit of just you know. Uh, just just dense rubber extremely dense anti puncture just you know whatever the plastic surgeons are using use that a little bit of it doesn't hurt just think outside the box figure it out until then i'm glad we had this discussion no more nails no more screws and luckily again this happens to be one of the biggest if not the biggest podcast so i know the word will get out and henceforth people live their lives without nails screws and broken pieces of glass it took some time, but henceforth after that, it was man. I'm telling you, ladies and but that's just but that's just me, and I'm good now. And I had to just you know put it aside, off your chest, let the city deal with it now. Let, let, I don't know, somebody's got to deal with this shit. Mm. But that's neither here or that's just a little something personal. I hope you've. Um, uh, you know, I hope your tires aren't punctured. I hope you run around with juicy, juicy, firm tires. Mommy, daddy, run around town with your juicy tires. What that PSI do, baby? What that pound per square inch say or does? What it do with the tires that are, uh, Looking good out there, ladies and gents, boys and girls. We're here. It's Wednesday. Uh, rumor has it, allegedly speaking, of course, if you happen to, you know, if you want to be strength training your cock, apparently grabbing your cock and slamming it, slamming it hard against the bamboo tree helps with erectile dysfunction, with, uh, I don't know, just overall, it, you know, it increases libido. Do you want extra libido? Slam your cock against a bamboo stick or a tree, or, you know, just get a, just get a couple of, just get a, you know, go into the jungle, go into the bush, find some bamboo trees, slam it hard. And in, in, in privacy, of course, you don't want to do it, you know, so you can scream and let it out. Or if you want to, or if you don't want to keep it private, maybe take like an elderly person with you so you can scream, but to them, it's just like regular volume. So are you even screaming? Uh, but do that. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, did I, but by the way, I do want to mention if you are watching today, if you're just becoming a member today, if you're subscribing, congratulations. I do want to say this with every new subscriber, with every new viewer to this already large, huge, extremely big show, you will get each and each individual, beautiful ladies and gents, you will receive your own, you know, you'll, you'll get something. What, what will you get? A stroke patient, that's right, wait for it for a second. Just wait, a stroke patient. Each subscriber will today, moving forward today, you will get your own stroke patient. They'll arrive within two to three weeks. There are no batteries in them, but these are stroke patients, which you will get 
on the house because I'm feeling generous. It's Wednesday and I want to give you what your little heart desires. And it's stroke patients all around. You guys can have fun with them. You know, just they're dead, just, just numb below the neck. You can poke them with a stick. You can spit on them. They like it. You can, you can tip them over and they'll fall, but they won't feel anything unless they hit their head maybe. But I'm not here to, you know, but I just want to say that's what I'm here to do. You don't need to do anything. Simply by subscribing, these, again, stroked out, just twitch, just twitching, just, you know, they will come. Be to, they're in a box. They have, The boxes have holes and they can breathe. And they're sitting on a comfortable wheelchair. Not the fanciest of wheelchairs because I don't have that much money to splurge. I'm already giving you pretty much everything your little heart desires, which is your own stroke patient. You're welcome. Maybe, you know, maybe you could down the line upgrade the wheelchair, but it's one of those like 1980s to 90s wheelchairs, the ones that are like, you know, like hard, stiff, you know, just, oh, you really got to know, you know, no, you know, it's, but whatever, it's still, it's still standing, they're good, and you will get them, they'll come in two, three weeks, tip them over, have fun with the family, and they're yours to keep forever until you, you know, until you want to, if you want to give them away, give them away, I, I really don't care, at the end of the day, it's yours, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your gift. They're yours. It's completely on the house. You're welcome. Again, free stroke patients for every subscriber. You should be expecting that within two to three weeks. Ladies and gents, it's Wednesday. There are so many things happening in and around the world that I'm just like, it's exciting to be alive. Grateful to be alive. I'll say that there's, you know, we are creating it all simultaneously together, working as a team, as a unit, and then individually, and then coming together and working as a team, and then going about our day individually again, but then coming back, doing it together indiv individually, but like collectively at the same time. It's great. Because so many wonderful things are happening. Flying taxis and, and also drones for, for the police force. That, that shit is happening. We're, we're getting them. It's exciting. I don't know how I feel about either situation whether it's flying taxis how do i feel about it you know just drones in general because they are becoming more a part of our life apparently little by little of course but down the line you know two three five ten years fifteen years down the line when this is the only show that's existing on planet earth by then it'll it'll just be flying taxis and uh you know police drones for everybody so Drones with, you know, I'd like to see, you know, flying taxis and I like to, the drones for the police officers or the police department or just policing in general, I don't want to just see empty drones. I do like the idea of, you know, helicopters, you know, I'm a big fan, I'll say that, but I do, you know, I don't, you're like, they're not big enough to carry an actual police officer. Well, you know, what about a, what about a female police officer? Maybe not a full grown male police, but I bet you, you can get one that's strong enough to carry a 140, 50 pound lady with just get strapped on her sides, just ready to go there, solve the crime from above. Five to 10 minutes earlier than anybody else would. Let's put a couple of ladies on drones, just, you know, the ones with the strong upper body strength, just hang it, just, just, you know, I'm talking about the ones with the huge lats. Let's get those ladies. And then just there's like a gy former gymnast slash Olympian now turned, you know, civil servant with two guns with four guns because like two of our biceps and two of our actual four guns just you know hanging off a drone and just you know doing a somersault and a backflip simultaneously and attacking the perpetrators and you know releasing the hounds just mid-fall releasing the hounds dude mid-fall before the firefighters and the ambulance and the 911 police you know they get out there just dogs flying out the side of her tits dude that's what she should be doing that's what i'm proposing we you know because we got to incorporate because there's a lot of jobs that are being intimidated by like you know there's new tech and we got to just incorporate more people within the tech so i'm thinking if there's going to be tech involved policing i don't want to just see drones a couple of light police even if you don't want to go female i don't care light police officers hanging off drones mid-air drop dude fight crime from above as above so fight it from above and then like hit it from like the core and then like after you're done with the mid go low go low but start from the top mid down and that's what we keep it moving baby but i don't want to see just empty police drones all right i want ak's attached to you know a, a former police officer who had a who had an incident with the uh with the you know with the precinct's uh, canine unit and lost the leg i want to i want to see a bionic leg that's turned into a gun just fighting crime on a drone just dropping bullets dude from above and that's how you tackle crime and shoplifting
if it, if it, if it so happens to be an issue, of course, but we'd be, we be nipping it in the butt from above. But that's what I'm, you know, on taxis, I, I am for it. Let's go, I have, you know, I'm not, I, cities with traffic, I don't know about your city, I don't know. Here in the GTA, like, we got a lot of traffic. There's a, a use, I remember being younger, driving around with parentals, and then eventually getting a driver's license. There was not much traffic. But now, man, these days, it's, we, we, I don't know what, but most city, but that's, that's what it is. So, you know, can we get a couple of people just flowing above and taxis just tipping over a little bit earlier than expect? Let's do it. I want to see that. Uh, potential hazards, of course, looking too fucking cool. That's a hazard arriving in a taxi via drone systems, fab. So that's hazardous right there a little bit, you know, and initially it's going to be, you know, the, you know, it's going to be for the haves and the have nots, but hey, little by little top down effect, trickle it down. Everybody will eventually get access to drones that are just taking your foot. Oh man, it's going to be sweet. Initially, it's probably, it's probably going to cost a pretty penny, a little bit more. I don't know how much it's going to cost. But if it's actually, well, maybe they already, maybe they budgeted. I don't know. Maybe it's actually cheaper. Maybe it's cheaper. I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe it'll eventually be affordable for everybody. Initially, I'm assuming it's going to be like, you know, big, big executives, like, you know, with big suits going downtown to do business on Wall Street, on Bay Street, with, you know, which is kind of our Wall Street, which is, you know, just your downtown financial district, just, you know. People in business suits and ties, you know, carrying folders and binders and briefcases and laptops and, and maybe, you know, maybe maybe a bionic eye or two just carrying, you know, switching in and out of, you know, real eyes with their bionic eyes between meetings, midair, just floating, you know, it's, it's nice, you know, just spitting loogies at people from above. It's going to be nice. I'm just spitballing over here where, you know, it's about making it better together. And I'm for this. If people should drop out of these, you know, flying taxis, uh, so be it, to be honest with you. So be it. It's worth it. I, we could easily just, if we randomly select a few spots that are hot, you know, w once a few of them drop out of the taxi, we'll figure out which spots they've actually been dropped out of the taxi prematurely. And on those spots, moving forward, henceforth, we can put one of those, like, you know, we can put like a little little uh, blow up jacuzzi so that in, in case of further, you know, down the line, if other people travel in the same location, happen to, you know, fall out of taxi, there's a nice little jacuzzi, will break your fall. It's not too deep, so you probably break your legs, but at least you'll be like, oh, bubbles and a hot, and, you know, a nice hot jacuzzi. Nice. We I mean, can make it deep enough for you not to break your legs. We could do that. Just a nice jacuzzi dropped off. That's, we need more jacuzzis on the bottom to combat the potential of falls from the caps up in the sky. But I'm for it, the eye in the sky could not be stronger with, again, people attached to them, maybe a couple of, if we're not gonna put people on these, you know, police drones, couple of, couple of just local animals, I don't care, really, foxes, I've seen a few myself, couple of raccoons, couple of, couple of skunks, just let's get there, you know what I'm saying? It's one step at a time though, one step at a time, just a couple of, you know, just a couple of, just a couple of blind people just, you know, just being dropped off by a drones on crime. Oh, bumping into the perpetrators. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. I'm for it. But that's just a little bit of, you know, that's exciting news, you know, and that's, we're doing it together, baby. That's where, that, where it counts. We do it together. And when, and when where it doesn't count, we still do it together. And we do it individually as well, but we do it together. Nonetheless, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, I will say this. Uh, if you are looking to increase just a little, if you are looking to get a little bit more, oh, just revved up for summer a little bit, you want to put that masculine or feminine energy out there. And you're like, how do I amp it up? How do I, you know, the, typically speaking, humans have been using very soft toilet paper. And that's nice and dandy for everybody, of course. Oh, my butt, my tush. Nice and clean. And it's actually soft toilet paper, which doesn't burn which doesn't make my asshole bleed. What if I told you we're getting softer because of softer toilet paper? How about that? Well, I've got a solution for you, family. Mi familia. Do not, do not let your, do not let you, you know, d relax is what I'm trying to tell you. Relax, all right? I got you. Sandpaper grade toilet paper for the people, for the men and women who want to continue to be strong uh, people. 
the, with, with sandpaper grade toilet paper, you will actually get rid of the shit around your bath salt, but you'll also bleed, which is nice because every once in a while you need to bleed from the asshole. So to remind yourself that, hey, life isn't all about whatever they say life is all about. Life is about more than that or, or, or less, more or less about that. And you'll say that and you'll bleed from your butt and it's going to be nice. And, and it'll make you just, you know, just it'll put you on your toes a little bit just because if you're just, you know, because that's what it is. We had, we went from, we went from, you know, uh, living in the bush using, you know, little leaves, little branches to wipe the butt. Then we meant toilet paper. And now everybody's on the bidets. And that next thing, you know, you know, I'm talking about everybody's going to be lactating. So before this goes too far, we just nip it in the bud. That's why I came up with sandpaper gray toilet paper bleed a little bit from your asshole you could use it trust me ladies and gents boys and girls it's wednesday because that's what it is baby that's what it is. you need to you need to maintain a little bit of whatever that was that we had in order to move forward with whatever it is that we're moving forward with so things are exciting it's happening Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll say this. I was just uh, reading a little story, of course, as I normally do sometimes. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a, it's a debate that's happening kind of in different places. Some people, some you know, countries already have it going on. And because we are one of the, again, if not the biggest, amongst the biggest, the girthiest of podcasts, our reaches, God, our, how, I can't even measure it, our reaches... We're out there, we're out there touching base and, you know, on planets out of the, you know, out of the jurisdiction, I'll say this, out of the, ooh, Milky Way, way farther than that, dude, that's how big the reach of this fucking podcast is, so I'll say this, uh, some places have already implemented this and it's already been a thing for some time, other places don't have it, but it's one of those things that mandatory, what am I talking about, mandatory service. You know, doing a little, if I'm not mistaken, they're having a little debate, maybe, you know, maybe uh, implementing it in the UK, in, in England specifically, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a debate, maybe there isn't. I did read a little bit of an article. Richie Sunak, I believe he's the Prime Minister of England, if I'm not mistaken. He's thinking about bringing back the sir. I'm not quite sure. Uh, if, if what I read is, I don't know what I read. If I, I, I read a little bit, then, then I questions it. So that's what, but it, it doesn't matter if he is or if other people are thinking about it. I was just thinking, what's going down in the, you know, should, is it beneficial to have mandatory service? Whereas what are the pros and cons of having service mandatory, you know, whether it's military or going out there, you know, volunteering at like, you know, doing a year in a police force, doing a year at the, you know, at the, the be, be a firefighter, for, be a Marine, be a, be a, Ooh, get with the, get mixed up with the navy. You know, get yourself some. You know, get your get yourself a crew that likes to tattoo in submersibles and just get in there, get underwater, get in the submarine and just tattoo, just tattoo each other's necks and you know, just just put a large, just put a couple of large missiles into you know into in and out of in and out of you know where they're supposed to whatever wherever the missiles go. And wherever the phallic shaped missile, you handle the large phallic shaped missiles and you carry them and you shine them and you buff them and you spit on it and you give it a nice spit shine because you want to keep it ready. But I don't know. It's just one of those things I think about it because it's, we do need to, we do need to, it's, I think it's just like we, we do need to get, it's, we are merging with tech. It's getting more incorporated into our daily lives. There's a lot of talk about a lot of jobs just like disappearing, perhaps us having to reinvent ourselves as people do all the time, because we're always evolving, right? New tech comes in, a whole lot of jobs get wiped out, and new jobs have to get created. In the meantime, in order for people not to be sitting around on their butts all the time, because we are concerned. I believe that's one of the biggest things other people are concerned when it comes to other people. What are you doing with your time? Is what people are, con not themselves, but like other people. So it's good to have your own thing going on, but you want to make sure that other people also have a thing going on, because that, then that becomes an issue. If other people don't have a thing going on, you got to give them a thing that's going on or otherwise people are just going to be sitting in trees and masturbating on each other because that's already happening a little bit. But uh, I will say this. The point is, in order to, you know, we need to get rid of a, we need not to get rid of a, so, you know, it doesn't, we don't need to go to war. We don't, get, although war is great business, war is, you know, one of the, when it's, when, when the economy technically is not doing well, 
a lot of times, globally speaking, this has happened in the past and it'll happen again and again and again, but there's going to be, it goes and it's, you know, it's peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, you know, good times, a little bit, a little bit of a challenge, and good times, a little bit of a challenge, good times, a little bit of a challenge, and it's not always like good times, a little bit of a challenge, it's a good time, good time, good time, good time, challenging, challenging, good time, challenging, challenging, good time, challenge, challenge, good challenge, good, 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 Good times, challenge. It's always, it's, you know, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. We need to keep people busy, essentially, because people start sitting around and thinking and yapping amongst themselves, and students, we start to question a few things, and I, that could become problematic and whatnot. So we need to get the kids involved. I've personally never done time myself in the services. Looking back at it, I do have this like romanticized idea of it. Maybe again, maybe it would have been nice to wear it like a you know maybe a nice just just get just get you know get suited up in in camel and just play hide and seek with the troops. You know what I mean? And thank you for your services, boys and girls, ladies and gents, the brave men and women who go out there and do the things that most of us don't do, but you need them to do what it, what it, what it is that they do, and we all do what it is that we need to do when it comes down to it. Essentially, well, I think more or less again, more or less. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen service what have you been talking about getting that full service should men and women be volunteering or you know conscription to give service and whatever the service may be whatever the whatever the surface may be i'm talking full lubed up hand jobs classic hand job service not that kind of service perhaps that could be incorporated into the services perhaps that could be incorporated into the services because if there's a ton of people out of work, tech is coming, taking your jabs. Service is the key to fighting that, you know, that little bit of a transition period where we're like, oh, we got to create a new thing. And you know, but that it's going to be taken up. AI robots and the dog, it's coming. It is coming fast. That's, I don't know. So we are, it's nice though. It is good. It feels good. We're going to be, oh, it's going to be sweet. So what I'll tell you is this. I don't know, having never experienced doing service, but nonetheless, having serviced a few peeps here and there, because we all do, we give back. I, I give back. You know, you know me. You've been with me, you know that I, I give good gifts again. Being one of the biggest podcasts, I, I do feel like there's a sense of responsibility that I gotta, yeah. I hold, my, I hold myself accountable, I'll tell you that. Services are, you know, far and few in between, but nonetheless, people are satisfied or, you know, it was good, satisfactory. It was like, you know, it, was, it could have used improvement, but we are always, our hearts in it, the, you know, it's, it's what you, you know, it's, the intention is what, what counts, really. But nonetheless, ladies and gents, I'll say this. I will say this. Again, having never had to, you know, I've never done the services, do I think it's beneficial for people to go, you know, I'll, it is nice because it all... Uh, you know, take away the war aspect of it, take away like military, like, but don't like, don't, 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 don't take it away. But like, you know, it is, it is nice to have a gang. It is nice to be a part of a gang, a crew, a syndicate, uh, you know, a, a familia essentially. So maybe it wouldn't hurt if people got to get, but then again, I've never done this. I've never done, maybe there are people who've gone there who loved it, they've done service. And maybe there's, and then there's different countries that do it different ways too. So there's, you know, so there's going to be, you know what I mean? So, but like just saying that shit, is that something that let's get rid of, let's do this. If we're going to do, get rid of universities, colleges, do service instead, embed university college into the services. So you're killing a bunch of birds with the same stone or no stones at all. Or like, you know, just, just tiny little marbles or, you know, just a little bit of, a little bit of calcium built up in your liver whatever that is just take it out of your your urethra and flick it at a couple of you know beautiful feathered friends but that's just whatever we're doing it's together that you know so i've never done it i've never built that you know i've never gotten up at like 4 a.m with a bunch of other men and women just who are like you know bunkered up in a in a bunker and like you know just after after having had beans for dinner just farting just farting crazy and it and then getting up 4 a.m. intoxicated by the by the CO2s and you're just walking in there and it's foggy and it's misty and you're you know, putting on your boots and everybody's like, yeah, we're going to get up and do 100. I don't know what they do. A lot more than that, I'll say this, but then, you know, you go for a, a mile or two of a run, five, 10 miles of a run. How much are we running? 10, 15, 20 miles of 
you do become the, the, the runner, you do get the runner's high. Uh, well, you do get the runner's high, and that's free, which is nice. Sort of, kind of like the, you know, and every part of, you know, every, every part of society gives back. You know, some people give you the free high from running. Others, like your boy, give you your free stroke patient, remember? So, having said that, I will, you know, again, I've never done service. Would I like to, you know, be able to put up a, can I, you know, would I like to learn to assemble and take apart a weapon under, you know, 15 seconds, 10 seconds? five seconds and less than a millisecond take apart a full AK and put it back together what I'd like to yes be a pretty be, be nice because then you could be that guy that could take apart a weapon really quickly and then put it back together really quickly but then if everybody's doing it that's no bueno because then you can't you know you can't be that guy or a lady who can take apart a weapon in less than a millisecond because again if everybody maybe it doesn't matter we could all do it together taking them apart and putting them back together and just spit shining stuff. I don't know what, but then doing push-ups and sit-ups. And then again, wearing nice camo, which will, which will make us all blend in and hard to distinguish who's who. But in this, in this, in this squadron, there are no captains. That's, you see, you're all captains of the squad. That's, we should probably, we need a captain for the squadron. I've never run one. I have captain the ship, of course, captain of this ship. Always captaining the ship, nevertheless, never in charge of a squadron. But I will say this, I will say this, badges will be hand, uh, handed out. Uh, the patches also, and, and nice, nice, you know, just military stuff. I don't know much about the military, but I do appreciate the services, of course. So shout out to the men's and women who go out there and do the work, dedicate their lives to protecting us so we can do what we do. And they can do what they do, but would you like your, you know, and it would, yes, I, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. It would not hurt. What do we have over here? What do we have over here? I know for damn sure the roof's been fixed. I guess this fella's back here with the wind, with the leaf floor, with the, whatever he's up to. Some leaf blower action in the background. Or is he getting ready for the troops? Or is he queefing really hard, stretching before he gets sent to the sent to the troops? Who knows? Maybe he maybe listen, man. Do I pay well? Do I pay my actors really well? Yes. Did I tell him to come in and work today? No. Is he going above and beyond showing up when I've not asked him to show up? Yes. Do I take that into account? Of course. Do I let him know? No. Yes. Not immediately, of course. Later down the line there again, there will be again when I'm handing out the medals, when I'm putting, when I'm putting stripes on your shoulder. I gotta get some stripes, but uh, it's a good, that's, I like that, showing initiative. Even, even when the job is done, coming back to follow up. Fo oh man, follow through. If I could say a thing or two about follow through. But that's for another day. I will say this though, you know, having never done service, I'd like to see more people get service. I, again, whatever that may be, if it, bring, if it brings in a little bit of like collective unity together so that we're like in it, you know, it would, it would be nice. But again, I've never done it. So that's, that's, you know, that's maybe a little bit of a romanticized idea of what it would be. But it's too late for me now. It's too late because I'm, so I'm young, but I'm now, I've now surpassed the age of being in that I think. I don't know how, but, but unless, unless shit hits the fans, dude, unless shit hits the fans and now we all need to get conscripted which i which i hope never happens but maybe we can make it happen for like not for reels but it would be nice to be like just just make a fake one just for the fake just for the sake of like building unity make it oh there's a there's a threat and then everybody gets camoed up and like you know just everybody everything is just it's nice to have a it's nice to have a collective aim or, or a sense of unity so again i don't know what i'm talking about i have no idea what i'm talking about that's that's never been the issue around here. It's never held us back. 
actually kind of like really propel this forward in some cases, but that's again, neither here or there. Would you like to be in the, would you like to be in the services? If that's something that maybe if it's, maybe you're not too old, maybe you're not too old and maybe you should consider it. I'll say this, not having the opportunity, the opportunity to do it myself. I will, you know, it's a, it's one of the, but I have no regrets. It's, you know what I mean? It's not one of those. So yeah, I'm here because of all my experience and I won't change that for a thing. You know, so I don't know what to think about it. It is a, you know, it's one of those things. Think about it. Leave a comment. If you'd like to see service or get serviced or be part of a service or receive a service, borrow a service, uh, you know, check out a cervix, you know, just, you know, if you like to work the, you know, flow, if you want to get service, if you want to look at a cervix, if you want to look at a fallopian tube, if you want to look at the ovaries, if you want to look at the ovaries, but you also want to, you, you don't want to skip over the underies because make sure you do both. A lot of people are always like ovaries, 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 but you never hear about the underies, which is just as important, if not more. I'll say that, ladies and gents. I don't know what's going on with Robert De Niro. I'll say this. I will say this. I seen a couple of videos that have popped up on the internet and I love Robert De Niro's movies like growing up a lot of you know big fan of the movie especially the older ones you know bangers bangers so there's been some I don't know what's going on he seems to he's you have an 80 year old man who's apparently allegedly you know from the depiction of it seems to be extremely alarmed by by Trump, and, you know, this is the eighty-year-old man. Extreme, and it's just a little. It's just a little too much. It's just a little. But I don't want to. But I don't want that to. I don't want you know because again, this is now a, a legend. Of course, the movies, the bangers back in the day, but they will always run. So I will refuse. I will refuse to change my mind about an actor's movies that I enjoyed. So I will not let this. You know, I will not let this. You know. Because at the end of the day, everything needs to be like, you know, you're talking about like you're going out there freaking out. 80 years old, you just had a baby. You're talking about two other men who are in their 80s, seven, late, late 70s, early 80s. Who are, and talking about people that are going to be staying in forever and all this. Just, you know, realistically, it doesn't, you know, of course, whoever, you know, the, the forever is being, a, 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 you know, it's a, it's a loose, it's, and it, you know, it matters. But at the end of the day, it's up to you and me. And like, I'm not even, you know, and this is, you know, this is, I, it's everywhere too. It's everywhere. It's not just up to one individual to get. So, you know, people, it, it's, I don't want that image. I just saw that. I don't want that. You know, I don't want that. I don't want to make, make more movies, make more movies. If somebody could, you know, just make more movies. If you could please make more movies and you know but that's just my two cents on it i don't know much about anything i don't know if it's you know but if you want to freak out i guess freak out too. freak out freak out it's your last you know it's you know 80s 90s hundreds you know those are it's the last if you want to be you know if you want to do it do it but also you know it's i don't know what it is it makes me think that like you know the oh because if somebody's going so hard against for, you know, something or for something, it's just like, at this point, I am thinking, you know, my mind gets, you know, because like my mind goes places. Because I like to think about different things like many of you do out there. So I'm just thinking if somebody's like, you know, there's been different clips. He's been popping up for some time. It's not just one. It's just been like, I've seen a few and I was like, all right, all right. And it keeps like accelerating. I guess this is going to be the thing, I guess, because like, you know, I'm, the U.S. elections are a pretty big deal, not just for the U.S. Globally speaking, it's one of those things. It's, you know, people look out for it. So, yeah, I guess being like, you know, I guess it was an instant where he was talking about if Trump gets elected, they're coming after him. And like, it's, who's, you, as far as 
majority of the public is concerned. You're just a you know a dude who made really he was part of a really you know a bunch of good movies. Let's just wait for this guy to come in the with the noise. Oh yeah. Really working for that dollar there. I will, man, I was not looking. I did not expect that I have to go out there and, you know, pay an actor again, because, you know, but do I like it? Yes, it adds a little bit to the ambiance. It's just a little bit extra, like, you know, is he even real? Is he part of the problem or the solution? He does it so naturally though, I'll say this. Really, really natural. All right, he's getting a fucking raise. I t tug it on my heart, so I can't help it. Tug it on the heart, so he too will probably, he's, he's probably not a subscriber because he works for the company, but he too will get one free stroke patient in two, three weeks. Man, his family's gonna be delighted. I am just saying, if you're freaked out about somebody, either or, to that extent, it makes you like, do you, at this point, like, have some, is Robert De Niro okay? I just want to make sure that he's okay. Is somebody threatening Robert De Niro with whatever? Because, you know, at this point, is somebody, like, is, you know, these are just like, where my mind goes sometimes. I'm just like, does, are, are there, you know, are there tapes out there? Are there, are there, is this, is, is there something more to be protected here for specifically Robert De Niro? Is I'm just saying. I don't know, I'm just thinking outside the box. Are there tapes of like, you know, or is there like, and I don't want, if there are, if there burn them, I don't want to see it. If there, I don't, I don't want that image to be, unless it's like, oh man, I don't know. I, I don't think so, obviously not. I just think it's what, and I've heard this term, but it, I thought it was a joke, but it, apparently it's true to some degree. I don't know. They say Trump derangement syndrome. Apparently some people really do lose it in terms of like what their reaction is to a certain situation, not enough, you know. And again, a lot of love, a lot of respect for the, you know, cause I love those movies, love movies. I still do, growing up watching, the, you know, oh. So having said that, if there are, t if there's like, if there's like Robert De Niro dick to dick action going on with some dude way back, I don't want to know about it. If it's, if it's, if it's not that, and I, you know, I don't, you know, if it's, you know, if it's, if it's masked, if it's masks and capes and, you know, a lot of, I don't want to see any of that. I don't want to know about it. Um, you know, I don't want to know. Personally speaking, all right, fine. If there, I'm just saying, if, whatever, if there happens to be tapes of, and there shouldn't, of course not, because you have an image of somebody in your head and, and you're like, oh man, great movies, love the movies, huge, huge fan, big big fan but then your mind starts going you're like why is this guy freaking out so much over you know just let whoever works just let the let the public decide and it's you know let the let the yeah i don't i don't see what the big you know if, uh, that's the thing everybody gets compared to you know uh hitler or like you know nazis and those things lose their meaning and sense after you use it so much so it's like you know those you know so it's like I don't know. Well, that's just my two cents on the on the matter, because that's what I do around here. Sometimes I give my two cents. Pennies for your pen, pennies for pennies for your thought. Pennies for your thought. Pennies for your thought. Is he coming back around one more time? Third times a charm, kind of guy. Service, that's what I'm talking about. Good old fashioned, down the shaft, up the shaft service. It's all about the strokes, just, just like that. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll say this, you know, your best performances, your best uh, instances of going up there and delivering are completed under a circumstance in which you are extremely relaxed and loose. Extremely relaxed and loose. 
Big presentation at the office? Yes, you need to keep it loose. Babies being delivered? To your door? Yes, you need to be relaxed. Merging the companies? Yes, you need to be loose. Doing a full blown takeover of, of your con competitors? Yes. Not being phased by distractions, of course. Working under any circumstance. Man. He's got the job, I'll tell you this. I am fully impressed. I mean, the commitment is... He's got the job. I am... I don't know if we're gonna have to like pull out a contract or an NDA in this case, but hired. Looks so real. Sounds real too, which is, if it tastes real, I'll be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it tastes, because it sounds real, it looks real. I will say this, but if it tastes real, that's jizz, that's, that's jizz. Hired. And that's how, that's how, that's how you do it. You show up and he's relaxed. You know why? Cause he's hopped up on all the muscle relaxers. A lot of times people, when they're about to go there for a job interview or big occasions come out, they need to be relaxed. They're popping muscle relaxers. What if you all, what if we all just took a whole lot of muscle relaxers? Why are we not letting our muscles relax? Why are we walking around upright? Am I right? Why are we using all our muscles? Like have the muscles, I get it. But it, but it couldn't our muscles be a little bit more relaxed? Just, just relax, I just wanna see, I just wanna see a pectoral just hanging out, you know, at the beach, just smoking a cigarette and a thong. That's what I wanna see. I just wanna see just a, just a glutus, just, you know, just leaning against the wall, just having a coffee and a smoke for a second. Just relaxing. Can't we aim for a little bit more? Of course we can. Together we will. And henceforth, everybody started using way more muscle relaxers. So to relax their muscles. Firm, but nonetheless relaxed muscles. Tight, tight, but relaxed muscles. Extremely tight, but nonetheless very relaxed. Under pressure, won't be phased on extreme levels of copious, copious amounts of muscle relaxers. Just oozing muscle relaxers out of your muscles because why leave it to the occasion where you're like, oh, I got a cramp. I got an, oh, my neck is cramping. I can't, I can't come. My neck is cramping. It's like, come on. There's only so much film left in the film machine. We can only, you know, you gotta calm down. I got, my neck is cramped. I can't come. You're like, calm down. It's like the pressure is adding to the cramp. You're not letting me come. And it's, it's a, you know, instead of always consume a lot of muscle relax or whatever the situation may be, whatever the situation may be. I can't give birth. My canal, my canal is too loose or too tight. Muscle relaxers, loosen it up a lot more. You know, a lot more would get done with more relaxed muscles around here. All I'm saying is, you know, get in a, you know, MMA sports are taking off and it's become the hottest sport around the globe right now. The UFC is killing it. Mixed martial arts, but what if you saw mixed martial artists who are, who are more relaxed? Just the relaxed, just buff, tight people, but also extremely relaxed. Just below the neck, relaxed. Just, you know, sunglasses on armpits, just smoking six, fully relaxed, but also swinging hard. But that's when you don't, you know, again, if you just leave it to the minute where you're like, I need a muscle relaxer, and that's too late. It's too late now. It's too late now. You nip it in the bud, get in there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I will say this, you know, a woman was recently... She's, I don't know when the, 
it's I get I recently heard about this, but a woman was at one point in her life abducted and tossed in the middle of the Colombian jungles to be raised by animals, by monkeys to be specific. And she's written a book. I believe it's called A Girl with No Name. I can't recall right now if it's called a girl. A girl with no name. A girl without a name. A girl who never had a name. A girl name N slash A. Does this girl have a name? Something along those lines. This lady, it doesn't matter what the name of the book is. You can, you can easily Google it. And go read the book, but I read a little bit about the book in the article. It's fascinating. She was abducted at a young age, dropped in the Colombian jungle, left to be raised by a pack of monkeys. And she survived to tell the tale of her monkey upbringing, which is pretty damn cool. And it just got me to think, man, oh man, if I had my pick of being raised by animals, which animal would I want to be, you know, to, who would I like to raise me if I, you know, that ship is long gone now, but I will say if I had my pick, monkeys are pretty good. Monkeys are pretty good. I will, monkeys are nice, but you know, some, you know, if I, oh, raised by a pack of, just a, just a pack of wolves, just a pack of wolves. So we work in a unit, but also work separately or something. And we howl at the side of the moon. Let's go. Yeah. Just, yeah. I don't wanna, but that's what it is. I don't wanna howl right now because it's too early in the morning, to be honest with you. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? It is, it really is. But not too early. It's good enough that people are working. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, that, you know, uh, the good thing about being raised by a bunch of monkeys is that you could, when released into, you know, when, when you get discovered by some rescue by somebody eventually down the line, you come back to society, you could totally just, you know, you know, crap your crap in the palm of your hands and just toss it at someone's face. And it's okay. It's completely understandable. And they'll, they'll be cool with it. They'll be cool with you. They'll be, they'll be totally cool with you. You know why? Because you were raised by monkeys, man. There's no pressure on you. We get it. It's completely cool. So if I had my choice, I would, yes, monkeys are pretty cool. Because after, you know, you get to not only learn how to like fend for yourselves, and like learn how to eat whatever, like using whatever is around you. But again, the, the fun doesn't stop. The fun is, oh man, sitting at the, you're, you know, you're working at the office, local office, next thing you know, Becky is behind you, she's picking lice out of your head, dude. Picking lice out of your, and who, which friend has done that? When was the last time somebody, you're sitting behind the desk, working that keyboard hard, all right? You're hard working at the, you're as, you're as hard as Robert De Niro is hard for Biden, working at your key, going for it right and there's be there's nobody there picking your lice and it would, but guess what if somebody were to be raised by monkeys they would totally pick your lice totally pick your lice dude lady that's what's missing from your life. and again the simple smearing of the feces oh the joy that would bring to the public but they say you can't have them all they say it's one of those things man they say you can't have them all i'll tell you this ladies and gentlemen it's 34 years now on this planet, I've seen uh, quite a bit of malls. So somebody's having a mall means you and I could have a mall. I don't personally even like malls, but like I would, if I had the, I'll get a mall. If I could, I would. And you're like, you are potentially, if not the biggest podcast out there. Why won't you get a mall? I don't want a mall. I don't want a mall. You can't force me to have a mall. I don't want a mall. I just want, you know, maybe a little plaza, not a mall. Too much, too much. But those same people you'll hear saying, you don't want to open up that can of worms. You don't want to open up them can of worms. Who are these people with cans of worms? Why are they opening them up? Are they just fishermen and women and why are there so many of them? Is this, is this why we're getting a reduced population in oceanic life? The fuck is going on opening up can of worms? Is it a specific brand that I should stay away from? Like, I don't know if it's like, I'm not trying to like down somebody or some company out there. I'm just like, you know, saying if it's President's Choice, let me know. If it's Kmart, let me know. If it's, you know, if it's big, if it's big Petro putting out worms in cans and our jerseys is just questionable when it comes to quality, let me know. Cause I don't want to open up that can of worms, but which can of worms 
are they talking about? It's the same people, the same motherfuckers out there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me once again. It's been a pleasure being here of full service, just servicing each other, really just double fisted service right here. The way we like said every Wednesday, every Friday for the for the time being, because once again, everything could change on a whim, on a snap. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube. And again, moving forward, free stroke patient. You're welcome. Don't mention it. I do it because I love to. Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadri if you'd like to fiscally, financially support one of the biggest shows, the girthiest shows become even girthier. Until next time.